cancer is the number one cancer killer because it's so difficult to diagnose early enough to cure. But all that's changing because of a new imaging device called a life scope. And there's a new treatment for early lung cancer that has also been approved for late stage esophageal cancers. Terry Taylor has been looking into how these new tools work. Terry? And we're going to be looking at two pretty incredible techniques. The first one is called life lung bronchoscopy. And is where we can find early lung cancer one to two years before conventional techniques can. The second technique is photodynamic therapy, or PDT. It's an FDA-approved procedure to treat early lung cancer and late-stage esophageal cancer, cancer of the esophagus. PDT can literally melt away tumors blocking the esophagus so patients can continue to swallow and maintain their nutrition while they undergo additional treatment. <laughs> We're doing conventional bronchoscopy first, what's called white light bronchoscopy. Dr. Tracy Weigel is examining the major airways of the lung endoscopically with a tiny white light and camera lens mounted at the end of a tube. She's looking for lung cancer. Um, we try to do it as an outpatient procedure, which means no general anesthesia. The patient has already had one cancerous tumor removed using the new technique of photodynamic therapy. And as you can see, there's no gross lesion there. This white scar on the top at about 12 o'clock is the residual tumor after photodynamic therapy. A conventional or white light bronchoscopy is very adept at looking at a larger lesion, but the sensitivity of the life scope or the fluorescent bronchoscopy is almost 500% as sensitive as, as a conventional white light bronchoscopy. We change a camera and we change the light source. Instead of using a white light source like we're using, we turn this off and we attach the laser. There's a button on the screen here. We up the... And you'll see the picture actually looks green because we're measuring fluorescence now. With the life scope, healthy tissue appears green while cancerous and even precancerous lesions look red or reddish brown. And you can see the bright red right there. That's, we need to biopsy that. That's worrisome for residual tumor right there. Push, close. Yeah, but we biopsy everything suspicious because the key in him is not missing something. If we overcall it, it's fine, as long as we d wait for the pathology. Well done, Ms. Troutman. You did excellent. Call you Monday. It'll probably be Monday till we know exact results, okay? But that doesn't, don't worry. Everything looked real good. We got some good biopsies. So this will be probably the last look. If these come back positive up in the upper lobe there, we'll have to do some more of that photodynamic there. Okay, you did good. Not too bad? Down the hall in the OR, Dr. James Lukatich is using photodynamic therapy to treat another very difficult cancer, late stage cancer of the esophagus. This patient, uh, had developed some problems with swallowing food in the last several weeks and was worked up and found to have an esophageal cancer. Uh, that's a cancer that grows right uh, in the tube or the swallowing tube. This is the probe that delivers the light. The patient has, har has already been injected with a drug that has sensitized the tumor to this light. Okay, this is just the aiming beam. There's no laser light on now, but this is a 2.5 centimeter tip, and I'm gonna position it right about here in the patient, in the distal esophagus. Then we'll turn on the light and begin the treatment. I'm passing the probe now. That's inside the stomach, and there's the probe. See me moving it. Now I'm gonna back the probe up into the tumor. Do you see the tumor now? There we are, backing up right there. And that's where I wanna treat the first treatment. So uh, could we go ahead, Rob, I'm gonna deliver 400 joules here. That's a fairly high dose because this is a bulky tumor. This is the probe delivering the light. And these are some of the tumor nodules, as you can see. And this will literally melt all these away. They'll, they'll be gone in, in 48 hours. We're activating the drug right now with this light and this tissue is already starting to, to die. In fact, uh, in a few minutes, this will begin to turn purple. So it, it acts immediately. Look at how purple that tumor is. I mean, it's, it's starting to die. Uh, but that black, purple look, that's what we're seeing. That tumor's dying. We're able to get about 90% of our patients home 
swallowing a regular diet, off all tube feeds, off intravenous nutrition. So it may be cost effective. It's certainly important in quality of life and getting patients back home. It's our experience to date that this is a better way to approach esophagus cancer than the past. PDT does have a major side effect. Because some of the drug lingers in the body, patients must stay out of the sun for about a month. But that won't stop 85-year-old Bill Wagner and his wife Marilyn from taking a vacation. When I go out in any of the sunlight or if I go in the car, I wear a cap and then I wear a towel over my face. I also have to wear gloves and also dark sunglasses because your eyes are sensitive to the sunlight also. We've been cooped up for a few months, but it's a small price to pay for getting better. We plan on going out to Colorado, visiting a friend of mine out there. I want to get out there before too late because the snows come out there early. Holy cow. And his prognosis? Uh, he's cured. So far, so good. Now, Mr. Wagner's one of the very rare cases because they found his cancer of the esophagus very early. He coughed blood. He was very, very lucky, so they could get in there and uh, basically wipe it out. He's been uh, checking clean, and he's off across country. Now, the thing is, with most of these cancer of the esophagus, again, it's found so late that there's a big blockage there, and this is palliative. In other words, the PDT will clear out almost all of the tumor so that the person can swallow and maintain their nutrition while they undergo other therapies. Maybe it's chemo, maybe it's other sur surgery, maybe it's PDT again, but it's pretty incredible. In unbelievable, and, and you make the point that this therapy isn't available everywhere. No, this is the only place in the country at UPMC, UPCI, the Cancer Institute, where um, you can find lifelong bronchoscopy and photodynamic therapy, not just in the same facility, but in the same hallway. So if an early lung cancer is diagnosed, that person can go down the hall and have PDT. If they can catch an early lung cancer, that lung cancer can be cured. This is what's so important. Lung cancer is diagnosed so very, very late that it, there's no hope for people. They need to catch it early. What Dr. Weigel hopes is that one day we won't even need her machine, that we'll be able to find molecular markers for lung cancer, for example, in our saliva. Um, and it could be just as simple a test as that. Amazing. Thank you so much. How often do you ever hear...